Okay. These are the kind of questions I'm going to ask. You have to ask questions? Yeah. Like, um, first of all, where were you born? I was born at home. <laughs> yeah, <but. coughs> at home? Where yeah. was your home? In Hamburg, Germany. It's called Hamburg Horn am Mühlenberg. V 153. We had a little uh, a fourplex. It was in, in one row, four apartments built together, and we lived in the last one up to the hill. Mm -hmm. The highest one. We had to walk. When we from, when we come from the street, from the streetcar. Uh, from the bus we had to go up the, the hill and then the last home on the hill it was a nice uh, small way there used to be a windmill up uh, on the top of, but it was already removed when i was born hmm. and uh, i was born at home on the november the 3rd 1922 and my grandfather was still alive. I remember him still a little... What was his name? Uh, it was Hermann Sommerfeld. And he had uh, cancer on his eyes. His, his eye was eating up and uh, he had a real hole in the eye was all gone. Hmm. But I remember him still when I was probably three years old. He used to come to my crib always and stroke my hair. And, mm -hmm. and, but, but I can still remember. Okay, I'm gonna stop. My childhood was a very nice one and I Remember when I played on uh, on this hill where we used to live, and uh, had a boyfriend, and uh, I was um, mostly interested in riding a, a tricycle. I remember it was a real big one. They had big wheels. Uh, mm -hmm. All three wheels were real large, and you could go really fast. You, didn't have to pedal much and only short turns and then you went. And then we had some fights uh, like uh, the kids have here too. Uh, the, their boyfriend I wanted to take it away from me. Mm -hmm. It was mine, but uh, we always took it. <laughs> and then I reached the uh, age when I went to school, I remember the first day of my school and my mother brought me there and uh, when the school was over all the parents came and, and picked the kids up and they had a big uh, uh, it was usually to Easter and we had a big uh, basket uh, it's like a basket, uh, no, it's more, more like a, uh, a cone. Egg? Uh, uh, it's a uh, pup, uh, made from pup, uh, from cardboard. Oh. A real big uh, uh -huh. cardboard cone. And uh, parents put uh, uh, goodies in there, like cookies and oranges, apples and chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, filled it up with... And, uh, when, was, uh, when did they give these to you? The, the first day uh, of school, when, when, when you come home, uh -huh. and the parents pick you up again. And, and that's usually to Easter, and that was a nice surprise. And what was your first school like? Where was it? It was uh, about was it in the same town where you were born? Oh yeah, it was the same town. But uh, it was in walking distance. We had to walk mm -hmm. 
uh, about uh, 20 minutes, half, half hour. Mm -hmm. What was the name of the school? The, it was the Bauerberg uh, 44. And uh, later on, later years, they built a new, brand new school. It was an Eastland school called. Was that while you were there? Yeah. It's like the East, uh, East school. We had the same colors in, in our sport outfits. We played soccer. Mm -hmm. And we had the red pants with white stripes. So you went to elementary school? Elementary school and then... And then there's a... What do they have, a, a high school or a junior yeah, high? Yeah, a junior high and, and high school too. How many? You went to ten years. Ten years? Yeah, I mean eight years uh, uh, grade school and... Uh, and uh, how do you go? Great school and birth and high school. Junior high? Yeah, but yeah, junior high. And then uh, if some kids are smart, they, they get a couple more years in to stay in the same school, but... Uh, mm -hmm. They go longer? Yeah, they go longer. So, um... So, did you have friends in elementary school? Yeah, many friends. And I played soccer a lot, and I, I wasn't too good in sport in the beginning. But the last couple of years, we had a, <coughs> a a teacher, and he 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 taught uh, he taught me how to do sports, and I even was uh, selected in a. League or how call it in a group uh -huh. to, to per, you know, per, perform on the stage. What did so you I, perform? I make a salto and, and work on on a horse. It's a horse. You mean gymnastics? Gymnastics, yeah. Ah. So you were gymnastics. in gymnastics. Mm -hmm. So you were an athlete, huh? So the last years I was interested in, in high school. Yeah. And then I, I tried to, we had, during Hitler's time, for sport too, to get the pin mm -hmm. for running and, and jumping and, and this uh, iron, uh, iron ball to throw. And shot and put. Shot put. Mm -hmm. What, um, I was to try out for everything. What kind of uh, classes did you take in high school? In high school, well, I... What, what were your favorite uh, kind of classes? Yeah, I took a little English, but uh, I wasn't interested and I didn't <coughs> thought that I ever go to the Nietzsche's language. Huh? <laughs> but uh, I took uh, physiology, I think. Mm -hmm. um, Take any kind of shop classes, learn. Yeah, in, in shop I, I was pretty good too. I took wood, took this wood, and, and then I was uh, interested in art too. I did, too. Mm -hmm. did science painting, lettering. And what about m music? Any music? Yeah, m music too. I played the, the violin. I had a, a friend. He, he's still here. He, he taught me. Violin? Uh, Zimmerman. We are called Zimmerman. There were friends to my mother too. They came some often on visitors there. Mm -hmm. And he, he gave me the basic knowledge to play the violin. He explained me, uh, explained everything from the beginning, uh, how everything is carved on the violin and, and how, how it works. And, uh, and later on I had an, 
a lady, a violin teacher. She played in an opera house. And she played the piano also. And so we played together the, mm -hmm. some concert pieces. And but later on I didn't have much use to it. Well, I took, took the violin to the service too. And the, before the, star war, the war started with Russia, mm -hmm. they had a big, uh, a big uh, concert coming up in, in Poland, in Warsaw. Um, but but I, I was injured be, be, before that was happened. I, I so you couldn't them. go? I couldn't go there. I, I think it, it, it never came true because uh, the war started then. Mm -hmm. uh, now tell me about your parents, what you remember about your mother and father when you were young. Yeah, my father. Like where, where was your mother and father born? And their no, full names. Yeah, what was your mother? My mother was uh, Marie Sommerfeld uh, Friebel. She was born in Königenhof in Bohemia, in no, Czechoslovakia. But uh, her parents died when she was. 14, 14 days old or something. She didn't know them. Mm. And she was raised by her grandmother. She was really uh, strict and, and she didn't have a very good uh, youth, my mother. She had to work hard because she raised 13 children. and. Uh, the grandfather was uh, uh, had something uh, mentally. Who? Yeah, he had. I was. Uh, I don't know what uh, what he had. Uh, epileptics or something. Else. Now, who had thirteen children? My uh, my mother's uh, grandmother. Your your mother's grandmother had thirteen children. Yeah, she 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 raised her own. Ah. And she didn't have much free time. She had to work at how uh, at home. Mm -hmm. But she was on. And she, the Greek mother, did uh, spiritism. And she, and my mother was happy when <coughs> she had uh, mediums or high class sessions. Uh, Seance. Yeah, you know, the rich people came to her, and then she. She was paid well for, for the doing that. And my mother asked her all the time, well, why, where, where did you learn that? And she said, uh, I didn't learn it. The, the Father in Heaven gave it to me, uh, to, uh, that I can raise my 13 children. Mm. Hmm. Tell me about your father. Where his full name and where he was yeah, born. My father was uh, Gustav Eduard Sommerfeld, and he was born on the 8th of March, 1892, in Gut Rohrwiese, that was in Kreis Czarnikau in, in Poland. And I don't know exactly when they came over with my my folks, I, I'm still researching to find out when they came to Hamburg. Mm -hmm. um, my father was working in, in the oil f factory and he had different jobs. Man. But he work, uh, worked hard and, and he made a well, he he had a good. Uh, my mother got a good pension. He never told my mother what he earned. Mm -hmm. So he was always uh, keeping her short. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but he tried to save money, and uh, during the inflation, he lost 
had uh, saved up so much money and uh, lost everything. He not even bought a home. He could have bought a home right beneath. There was a big uh, mansion, a villa, or a how you call it? Villa. Villa. Mm. And he could have bought that home. And we found out during the war it wasn't even destroyed. It's still standing. That, that mm. That was not very far where I was born, just a, a little way between and then a, a fence and then, then it went down the hill to the street and it was halfway to the main street. It was a nice home then. So he lost that money. And I guess he was very sad about that too. Mm-hmm. It's always good to put it in real estate, your money, if you have. Yeah, money. yeah. So, so my father was uh, always good. He tried. He uh, he was concerned that we have enough to eat. Uh, that. Obviously, like, are you still hungry or something? Mm-hmm. But uh, he was a little jealous of my mother all the time, and that uh, made my mother uh, sad all the time. Okay. Now, your father worked in an uh, oil factory? Oil factory, and then uh, he worked as a they call it meeting. But they hammer hammer the metal together with a rivet? With a rivet, yeah. Riveting? Yeah, he metal did riveting, work. yeah. He did that for, for many years, yeah. When did your so father pass away? He passed away in nineteen fifty four. One year after I came to the United States, mm-hmm. I couldn't go to the funeral because he, he just were here and had to save some money. Mm-hmm. Um, we still have a sister in Germany, and I guess my other sister went too. How many how many brothers and sisters did you have? I have three sisters. One passed away in Hamburg. Yeah, two are left now. And one more, one more brother. What are what yeah. are all their names? Well, Hedwig, that's Heidi, the card of Heidi. Uh-huh. And Lainey, she lives in Taylorsville, Heidi in California. And Mary, she passed away in Hamburg. She married me, Michael Parnage. <coughs> who used to be the state president in Hamburg. Mm-hmm. He's a... What does he call it? He's a blessing. He's a patriarch. Patriarch. Mm. Mm. And then your brother? And then my brother Werner. Mm. He is a contractor now. He learns to... Uh, Plumbing business in Germany. And he is a nice brother. He is uh, doing well too. Mm-hmm. Now your mother passed away just recently. What was yeah. the date? When she passed away? Yeah. Nineteen. The last year, no? Yeah, last year. Last summer? 11 of September, was it? I think so. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, did you... When did your parents... Did both your parents become members of the church? Yeah, they were. They both were joined the church and you joined with them? Yeah, yeah. I remember still the, the two sisters who 
who came and uh, talked to my parents. No, I was a little young, but uh, I still remember them after. They, they always came to Auckland. Mm -hmm. And this was Sister Marie Engel. And what was that? I can think right now. Hmm. Surprised you can but, uh, they can remember. They they came to our home and uh, invited us to to the church and and uh, my father went for the first time. And my mother was busy with the ch baby with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with my, with my my sister. It was in the year 1925. And my the sister was born 1924, 16th of April. And she then. And my my mother said, uh, "Why don't you go to the church?" Uh, and, and then he, he went to the church, and when he, uh, he came home, he said, wife, we, we, we should go there, you, you should know. There was a really nice uh, time, you should go next time with me. So they start going from yes, then on? Yeah, they start going from then on. And Did you go with was them? A, a brother Schnippe. No, I, I was too young. He might have taken me. You don't remember? No. But they had me blessed before they got baptized. Mm. But I was still uh, two years old. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we went to... What did I have left? What? What do you have left? I um, know. You want your next question? What about uh, when you were a clerk in the, in your branch? That was later on. Never. That was later on. Yeah. Can you remember anything okay. else when you were younger? Um, any oh, yeah, friends that you had? My father used to drink a lot, and uh, that made my... That's the reason they had trouble in the beginning. Uh, then, when my father was drunk, uh, everybody was afraid of him because he uh, got... Uh, what do call it? Uh, wired? Violent? Uh, violent. Even the police was af afraid uh, when he was in the tavern, he took a chair and, and emptied the whole <laughs> tavern with him. Hmm. You get pretty mean, huh? Yeah. So he... And then when he went uh, with my mother to the meeting, there was a brother Schnippe. This is... Uh, this is Schnippe where the... Where this book is written. Uh, the book, uh, the prize? From here, the prize, yeah. Yeah? The father. His father. Yeah, his father was speaking about the word of wisdom. <coughs> mm -hmm. About smoking, and my father smoked uh, cigars and cigarettes too. Mostly cigars. And, uh, but he, he took it very seriously, and, uh, but he, he had a hard time to get uh, rid of in the in the beginning you know, to quit smoking and then. Mm -hmm. but when I hear that <coughs> then uh, during the week he went uh, in town and, and he met his brother who spoke this uh, Schnippe mm -hmm. and uh, uh, brother Schnippe came up to him and he had a cigar in the hand he was hiding it in a, and uh, he shaked hands with him, and that, uh, like he does it usually, the, the schnibber here. 
characteristic. And uh, that was the last time he smoked. Mm -hmm. He was hiding it, and then uh, the, after he, after that, he throws his cigar in, in a bowl in, 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 in a river. And, uh, and that, that was it. That was the last time. Quit. Now, Sh Brother Schnibbe, was he the branch president? No. No? Just a member of the branch? Just a member of the branch, and he, he was a speaker. He, he, he spoke. He spoke. Now his son was your friend? Yeah, he was one of my What friends. was his son's name? Karl Heinz and Bert Bertolt. Bertolt was the older one. He was killed in a car accident, a head on collision. Hmm. Yeah, then he went, came to town again. But and with him, his wife was killed and his sister in law. Now Carl Heinz. On Carl Heinz, he, he was involved yeah, with. He was uh, involved with Helmut Hübner. Now Hel Helmut. Helmut Hübner was a special uh, friend of mine. We were real close be before the other boys. Before he was friends yeah. with the other boys. Yeah, the, the other boys became his friends, and uh, we we knew when Hitler came to power that. Uh, would come to a war and, uh, and that everything was not uh, true but he, uh, he, he tried to sneak in everything again mm -hmm. to come to power and, uh, now Hubner to, and, and to he wanted to force everything uh, yeah. so did you Hubner listen to the British broadcast on a radio yeah, me did too we, we had to during the war we had to, to watch the factories and we we went together to, to, to watch why did you watch the factory yeah you know, when, when they bombed them in one factory was the Kreuter where they make uh, pills from uh, what is it herbs herbs, the her herbs factory uh -huh. And it was very dangerous today. Worms, because of all the dry, yeah, dry leaves and all that. So you and watch we, with? Yeah, we we had to stay nights there. We turned on the radio on the British and the English, Americans, mm -hmm. and uh, they always uh, taught us. The, the truth, the, the, the Germans, they, they hit everything, they didn't tell her what's really going on and how much we lost. And uh -huh. The lives that were lost in yeah, the German ships, army. Uh, so we were always informed and, and we studied together uh, shorthand too and we wrote down in shorthand and he made some reports. I was a ward clerk and had the typewriter. Uh -huh. and we used it to, to type on, to learn to type. He, he was a clerk, he worked for the state of Hamburg. He had a, mm -hmm. had a good uh, he job. And he typed up, what did he, he typed tracts? Yeah, he, he made literature, tracks, literature. On that typewriter? Yeah. The branches typewriter. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, he, he, he took over my job. I, I was the reward clerk. Uh, yeah, so. Okay, we were talking about um, Hubner typing the uh, tracks, Hubner. literature on your t typewriter. He took mm -hmm. over your job, you said? Yeah, I drafted to the service. And so the the other boys got, got together. For a short time, I was with them uh, together too, mm -hmm. listen to some news. But, but then I was drafted, and and when they were.
then the Gestapo got them. Uh, I was in the, in, the, in the hospital. But you were wounded? Yeah, I had a head injury. In the, the, the war just started then with, with Russia. Uh -huh. So you didn't get into any trouble? No. Like they did. Now, Humner, he... No, they didn't mention my name. Uh, I probably was not too much involved in the, yeah. in the last things, but I, I started out with him. That, um, Hubner was executed and uh, yeah. Schnibby was put in prison. Put in prison. I see. So, how, so you were drafted into the service. Yeah. How, how old were you? Nineteen. Nineteen. Nineteen years old. Uh, and you were wounded? How were you wounded? Well, we were building a munition camp in, right on the border, on the Russian border. Uh -huh. And and loaded the bombs. Uh, we were worked under the, under the air force in Germany. Luftwaffe. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Yeah, Luftwaffe. Mm. What happened? And then we digged out trees. They shouldn't have been digged out, but uh, the officer told us we should <coughs> dig one tree out. And what do you mean, dig it out? Yeah, the dig underneath the tree. On the roots, yeah, they, 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 they wanted to get the whole tree. Transplant or just dig it out? No, just dig it out. Uh, they use this wood for building roads. Oh. It was all muddy there in uh, Russia. And, uh, uh huh. And they did the road and, and through the explosion or something the the, the tree broke the, the roots you know? and I, I was I used to cut the trees but I, they gave me another job to plan plan the, the ground to make it even to pr prepare the ground yeah, for the tree yeah, yeah no not for the tree for for the roads oh for the road yeah. Okay. And and, uh, and the tree broke uh, through the vibration. I mean, one root broke and the the tree tree tipped over. And uh, the screaming, uh, here for the tree. But we tried to run away. But some other boys were hit by branches. But but I had some of the limb on on my head. So it fell on you. Yeah. This bone was split. I was six days unconscious. They put me on a truck and carried me over a hundred miles to Warsaw on the truck. Uh -huh. I was there in the, in the hospital. You don't remember anything of those six days? No. I see, I saw only the trees. To, that's the that's tree last there. thing you remember, the yeah, tree. The, the tree that, and so they took you to Warsaw, the hospital? Yeah, yeah. military hospital. And I, was, uh, I don't know how, three weeks or so. And from there they brought me back to Germany, to close to Mannheim. And so you recovered and was the war over by the time you recovered? No. Or you, so you got out um, of the hospital and went back in, you were back in the service? No, yeah, they got me back, but uh, I was a long time, nine months I was. In the hospital? In the hospital. That was the best time of my life. Because I didn't know that I was sick and, and the nice parks. I, <laughs> I played chess and, and, and games with High officers uh, were all wounded. Mm -hmm. Sometimes late nights, and the other fellows they, they got jealous you know, that I could stay up to lot because I worked. I think as an officer. Mm -hmm. So those were good times for you. Yeah, the best time, good food. And 
Yeah, that was a blessing because I always prayed to my Heavenly Father that I don't have to shoot nobody, that I don't have to kill nobody. Mm -hmm. And that was... You never did? No. And that was the uh, uh, answer of my prayer because even my, I had this uh, happen to me. I was only unconscious for six days and it was like I slept, yeah? mm -hmm. and uh, when I even when I woke up, it was happened on the seventh of May, 1941, and I woke up on the thirteenth of May, 1941. I saw the calendar on the wall, and, and I remember that's my mother's birthday, the thirteenth uh -huh. of May, and, and I asked the nurse uh, to give me a birthday card and. And she said, you are surprised that I could talk like that, you know, like this heavy, this heavy accident, and my head injury. And she said, you, you be uh, quiet and, and lay still and don't move your head too much. I was laying without pillows, mm -hmm. so everything should heal up. And, uh, yeah. And then the nurse said, ah, we will take care of it, we will do it. Yeah, that's a birthday card. Mm. So after you recovered from the, from your injury, where did, what, what happened to you after that? Where did you go? Well, they, they let me stay there because... Well, after the, you were there nine months, yeah. where did you go after that? Then I, then I could go home for a while. So you went home? They did, till they drafted me again, uh, because <coughs> it was only a short time. Mm. So you were drafted again? Yeah. Mm. And, uh, then I had a perforation of the stomach. Perforation? Yeah. What is that? They, they, they said I had a, uh, an ulcer close to the exit of the stomach. Uh -huh. And it broke through and they operated on me and uh, sewed it up. But the good doctors were all in, in Russia on the, on the front. They had only a, a horse doctor. Horse, <laughs> he really was a horse doctor. Uh -huh. And he sewed it up. And, and after, after a while the the exit became too small because the scarf, scar tissue, the scar tissue build, and the stomach grew big and bigger, and I, the food was rotten in there, and it stunk if it went out of the bag. If I sometimes I had to burp, I had to hold it back a long time, and then when I burped, and it's like a, like a long. <laughs> And gas and <laughs> like rotten eggs, huh? Yeah. So, and I re reported it to, to the officer, and he always wanted to, uh, that I uh, work on, and be still in the service. And Thought you were trying to get out? Uh, yeah. Because, uh, and I told him I, if I burp, then it stinks like it went out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, well, well, put a sign around your neck and, 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 and say, because of uh, rebuilding the ass, uh, gas transmitted over the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> well, something like that, I can say. Uh -huh. Well, did they have to operate again? Yeah, then I had to, and that was when we lost our, when our home, home was bombed in Hamburg. Were you close by? No, then we went to Czechoslovakia, the homeland of my mother. Uh -huh. But uh, before that I had phosphor burns still. And how did you get phosphor burns? When they bombed Hamburg in 1943. 
Was that while you were in the service? No, I was just discharged. Just young? Oh, after the service? Yeah, I was discharged from the service. Now you, were you, you told me once before you were in a bomb shelter and you, you thought the bombs had stopped and you ran back? Yeah, that, that was... Uh, was that what? Yeah, we have a bomb shelter in, in Hamburg. Uh-huh. I went with the whole family in and then I went back because my genealogy was still at home and, and then my friend. But <coughs> we, we stayed too long at home and listened to, to the news and, again. Uh-huh. Well, it was a long time. We thought it was a blind al alarm, the, like they had it many times. Like a false alarm? Yeah, a false alarm. And, and so, uh, but then after a while, the bombers came. We never had it this bad before. One, one airplane after the other, wound down and the bomb stopped the bombs. And, uh -huh. and we looked for protection in, in the home, but it wouldn't work. And the ceiling came down, and, and the curtains stopped burning, and we had to, to get out. And, Outside everything burned, the, the fences and this was uh, your uh, first one made everything, uh, everything burn. This was your own home that you no, were in? No, it was a rent. Uh, well, rental, but it yeah. was where your family yeah, was living? Yeah. And you watched it burn down. Get and then my friend and we both uh, went out. So you and were... then uh, on the way to the bunker, I, I was unconscious for a while. I, I tripped over the of the rocks, over the bricks, uh -huh. and it was real hot and hardly could breathe because a real firestorm. But I made it into the hospital, but I had real pain, uh, phosphor. Did you was, burn your hands and your yeah, the, and underarms and the neck, and your legs, and face. Oh, legs now. Legs, oh, yeah. And then I was, it was funny, like, like a dog I was going, <laughs> 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 So, did the war last very long after that? Uh, yeah, it was 41. It and was you, went to, you went to Czechoslovakia after Czechoslovakia. that? Czechoslovakia. And then the war ended? Yeah, I was still two years, almost, oh, two. almost two more years. So it was quite a while, quite a long time. Yeah. And then, I didn't know exactly where my folks were, then, if they went to Czechoslovakia or not, because I had to leave earlier, they took me to uh -huh. the hospital, Is it on a train. Like a, we didn't know where, where we go. I mean, first to a little place, Bergedorf by Hamburg. And we stayed there one night and then we went on. And I couldn't eat and you know, my hands were all wrapped in. And, and first aid, they didn't have enough oil, uh, cream. Ointment? Ointment, you yeah, put some powder on first. But in other hospitals they had some treatment. And then the trouble was I couldn't eat by myself. I had to wait till the nurses came. But uh, I tried to eat my diet like a dog, you know, uh -huh. you? At that time. But we had so many tomatoes, uh, I enjoyed it and white bread and it was uh, when I ate the most tomatoes that year. <laughs> um, and it tasted good. And you still, didn't get sick of them? No. You still like them? I still like them. So you were in Czechoslovakia then? No, not yet. Not yet? No, in the hospital? I still I was in the hospital quite a while. And then I found out I had to call it Pondem to to check the rock here and find out that the people are there and, and uh, there were already a, 
a job prepared for me in, uh, for the mayor. I worked for the mayor. The mayor where? Of, of the city, uh, of the little place where my folks were, where uh -huh. my wife is from. In Czechoslovakia? In Czechoslovakia. <coughs> so you went there and you... A real good job. Uh, what what kind of a job? Type, uh, typing, shorthand. Uh -huh. The burgomaster, he... That's he, who you were. He did dictate and I, I made the... Write, wrote the letters and, and worked also in the... Where they gave the rations, the, the cards for the, mm -hmm. for the people. So uh, I met many friends and I started my genealogy there too because I had all my records there. Uh -huh. And on the weekends uh, I took my bicycle and went to the different uh, parishes and where my ancestors are from. And collect a lot of genealogy. So you've been yeah. doing genealogy a long time, huh? Mm -hmm. Still doing it. Yeah, still doing it. So you went to Czechoslovakia. How long did you stay there? <coughs> In Czechoslovakia, I stayed from 1943. Till forty, till the war was over. Till the what? Forty five. Forty five. Mm -hmm. And you went back to Hamburg. Oh, yeah, you had to go back. Uh, the Czechs and the Russians they made us go back. All the people they moved in to, during the war they had to go <coughs> back where they came from. And then later on, they, they threw all the Germans out. Uh, mm hmm. That's is that when Mom? Yeah came mm -hmm. but you it been was that when you met her or was it later no I met her uh, during the during the war huh? you were in Czechoslovakia when you met her yeah. was it her hometown you were at yeah it was her hometown she lived in the same apartment house uh, my uncle and my, my mother's sister and her uh-huh. Tell, tell me about the first time that you saw Mom. You know, that uh, was to, to a dance. She, she was playing... Piano? No, she was playing accordion. Oh, accordion. To, to a dance. And what did she look like to you? Oh, she was... She was really nice. Uh, blonde, uh, long... Braids. Uh huh. She was kind of young still, but. Uh, How old were I you? I was interested in, in the music, and uh, she lived in a. And then I went to, to her home, she had a piano there. And she played all the songs. We sang the songs together. It was a. Uh, Really nice uh, hit songs uh, the there. <laughs> mm. The proper there then. Uh huh. Can you remember any of the names of the songs? Oh yeah, that's a uh, uh, I I never heard in Hamburg, but uh, with the singing there. Ich suche ein kleines Zimmer. With that was Sonnenschimmer. And have ich das gefunden, dann kommen schöne Stunden. <laughs> Nobody understands that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody might. Not and then me. some opera, op uh, operetta music, mm -hmm. the light music. music. <sighs> so, how how old were you when you first met Mom? Forty one. Let's see. Forty three. Twenty one. You're twenty one. And how old was Mom? Mom, she was seventeen. 
17? Mm. Just, just like me and Lisa. Yeah. I was 21 and she was 17. Yeah. How old were then? I got married, 25. I was. You were 25 when you were married? Yeah. When you were 48, you got married. Maybe he was a little older, huh? Mm. The war, war was over in 45. Forty. You're 44. Mm. 22 of us. You were 22? Mm -hmm. And so you went together for a while, or saw each other, dated? Yeah. In Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. and did you go to Hamburg together or? No, she she came after. We, we had to leave first. <coughs> uh huh. And uh, and then they they. And then they kicked they, everyone. Yeah, out. she went to Bavaria then. Mm hmm. And then I went down to visit her. Then after that, uh, she came to Hamburg. Hmm? How? First. What? Did she get a job there, or? Yeah, she worked in Hamburg too. Where they made uh, for cans, the lids. The metal lids. Metal lids. Uh, she was punching them on, on the machine. Uh huh. Mm. So how long was she in Hamburg before you were, you got married? Um, having half a year for a Half a year? And so you dated yeah. then? Saw yeah. each other? Where did she live? Where? In, in Hamburg? Yeah. She stayed with us. In with you? Yeah. Mm. So how did how how did you ask her to marry you? Well, I I, I told her when we had left the uh, Sudetenland when we, mm -hmm. when we went to Hamburg that she she should uh, see us again. If, if she comes to Germany too, we, we should be. <coughs> We stayed in contact all the time. And, mm -hmm. and then we... I mean, was there a time when you... some romantic evening when you asked her to marry you, or... how did it happen? Yeah, well... I have to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't remember? No, Mm. Or you just kind of knew that you were going to get married. Yeah, we, we knew that. Uh, you didn't really, there wasn't just some point in time when you mm -hmm. asked her. You just kind of knew because you were dating and... Yeah, well, well I asked the parents then too for... That was uh, the use in Germany, it was the... Uh, yeah. That's for the hand of the... The daughter. Of the daughter, yeah. They said yes? Yeah, they said. No, they, they were more... I guess the father was more... Um, it was his wish, yeah? Mm -hmm. he, he wanted yeah. it to happen. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your wedding. Yeah,